What is structural integrity and failure of bridges? The idea of structural integrity is the process of designing and creating a structure that allows you to withstand the effects of weight, weather, and pressure. Bridges are going to be the main focus of this demonstration. We will be showing you the materials and factors that contribute to structural integrity. We will also show you structural failure and what leads to it. After we learn all these skills, we are going to show you how to apply what we have learned into bridges. There are many factors that affect structural integrity. Some factors including material, location, and weather. In this scenario, we will have a budget with access to steel, wood, rope, and cable to build our bridge. First, we are going to start with the base. The base of the bridge is one of the most important parts. The base will have to withstand many elements that could lead to failure, but we will talk about this later. The first base will be made out of wood. Wood is the most lightweight and inexpensive material that we will use. Wood is also flexible, but can break easily. The next material for the base is steel. Steel is heavy and expensive, but very durable. Steel can withstand a lot more weight and pressure. Steel is the best material to use for larger bridges that are meant to withstand many cars or a lot of weight. Wood can be used for smaller bridges that are meant to withstand less weight. The next material are cables and rope. Rope is almost the same as wood, less expensive and less durable. Cables are more expensive and more durable. Cables and rope are meant to distribute the weight across the bridge. Weight distribution is the main part of how a bridge functions. If there is too much weight in one area of the bridge, that stresses the pressure point in that area. This could lead to structural failure of the bridge. Cables do a better job of weight distribution of the bridge. The cables help support the bridge and its pressure points. Now we will talk about structural failure. Structural failure, when a structure loses its capability to hold more weight or when it is overloaded. The main cause of structural failure is the structure, in this case a bridge, is overloaded with weight. What happens is the cables or rope cannot hold the weight or distribute the weight across the bridge and its main structure. The pressure points are overloaded with weight and that part of the bridge fails. This could lead to the bridge collapsing. Over time, engineers have developed new ways to make stable bridges. They have learned from past mistakes. This leads us to our next topic, learning from past mistakes and experiences. There have been many instances where structures have failed. Engineers have learned from these mistakes to create better bridges and structures. An instance of structural failure was the first Tacoma Narrows Bridge. This bridge was a suspension bridge that collapsed. The bridge was located in Washington. When the bridge collapsed, no one was hurt. The bridge collapsed because the pressure points were stretched and the weight was undistributed. The bridge could not hold its own weight. This changed the way suspension bridges were made in the future. Applying what we have learned. Now that we have learned a lot about the different factors and what affects bridges and what leads to structural failure, we can apply it. We will be using a program that lets us build bridges and see where they are stressed and where the most weight is. The program is named Polybridge. First, we will be testing a bridge using wood and rope. As you can see, you need a lot more wood to reinforce and keep the bridge stable. The wood costs less, but you need more. Now we will see what happens when we use steel and cable. The bridge costs more to build, but is more stable and requires less materials. The stress on the bridge can be tolerated and dispersed. Recapping what we have learned. Now that we have learned a lot about structural integrity and failure, we will recap what we should know. First is structural integrity. The idea of structural integrity is the process of designing and creating a structure that allows you to withstand the effects of weight, weather, and pressure. Next are the factors that affect it. There are many factors that affect structural integrity. Some factors including material, location, and weather. These can lead to failure of bridges. Next is what leads to failure. Structural failure. When a structure loses its capability to hold more weight or when it is overloaded. 
The main cause of structural failure is the structure, in this case a bridge, is overloaded with weight. Not properly designing and accounting for material, location, and weather can also lead to bridge failure. Now we shall talk about how we have improved bridges. From our mistakes, we are able to look at how bridges fail and how to improve them. Lastly, applying what we have learned. From what we have learned, you now know how to make a good structure, like bridges, and what can lead to its failure.